Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. There's my good buddy, Bo Dog. He's out here helping me today. And there he goes. He's going to work. Because that is what we're going to be working on. Yeah, for all those of you who have watched all my videos, you know that my wife and I have a kettle corn and pork skin concessions business. We don't use it a whole lot during the year, but we're hoping that one of these years, in the next few years, hopefully within five or so, it's going to be our full-time business. But right now it's just part-time and play money. And we've got a building we put up every time we do an event. And that building is just getting to be a little too much for my wife and I to put up anymore. She's getting up there in years, being a little older than me. and It's work. I, I'm not going to kid you. It takes about six hours to put that building up and take it down. So we bought this here concession trailer. And yeah, it's pretty funky looking with vinyl siding and all, but we're going to strip this, I'm going to strip this down to its bare bones and rebuild it to a professional looking concession trailer complete with lighted marquee up there on top. And, and uh, hopefully I'm going to have it done by October for the Arkansas State Fair. So I got a lot of work ahead of me. Today's goal is to get this vinyl siding all taken off, see what's underneath it, but looking up there at the top, Kind of hard to tell on camera, but where those lights are right there in the corner, that looks like aluminum siding underneath there. I don't know how far down it goes, but we'll find out. This was a bay window right here that as soon as I hooked it up and rolled about five foot, it fell off. It was just rotten. In fact, I think I got parts of it inside here. Yeah, there's parts of it right there. But that's coming off. I'm just going to put a big window here. Got a lot of wood rot right there. I'm sure there's wood rot all over. Those are the two service windows. Probably going to keep those right where they're at. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to put a service window back here. Those sinks are going to be moved. That little room right there is a bathroom. That's coming out. Concession trailers shouldn't have bathrooms. I'll go around and open up that door and let you see the inside as soon as I finish it off the outside. There's a lot of work on this thing. A whole lot of work. Let me tell you. There's a cover for the for the service windows that'll be done differently like I say hopefully when I'm done this is going to look like a any type of a, a concession stand you'd see in any fair or event and one of the things that was appealed to me in buying this was these two gas fryers right here they're pretty rough right now need a good cleaning up which I'm going to do but uh, that'll make it easier for cooking skins I'll be able to Cook the pork skins a little bit faster. Got a professional exhaust hood up there with the, the vent up on the roof that's leaking, as you can see. There's been water leakage all around it, so all this has got to come out to redo the roof. Even got a fire extinguisher system in it. Whether it's hooked up or not, I have no idea. I haven't gotten that detailed into looking around. But Big 100-gallon propane tank, a couple of smaller ones. I think what I'm going to do is once I get rid of this bathroom that's right here behind these fryers, they're going to get moved back where that bathroom is right now. This door right here, I'm going to back up here so you can see it. I'm going to move that door to the middle of the trailer, right in the middle. And then along this wall right here, this front wall, which of course the door will be over, I'll move those sinks over here. So as soon as you come in, you've got your hand wash station and all the clean, the three cleaning sinks. You are required to have four sinks in a, in a concession stand. One one sink is a hand wash sink and there's the there's the hand wash sink right there and then you gotta have a three compartment sink which is wash, wrench, and sanitizing. See a lot of uh, wasp nests. This, this trailer has been sitting on a hillside for years, probably 15 years or so. So I got a really good deal on it when I bought it. I don't want to tell you what I paid for it because some of you will laugh and some of you will go unbelievable. I thought it was a good deal anyway. That refrigerator will come out. And right about where that refrigerator is sitting is where I'm thinking of putting the putting the uh, kettle for cooking the kettle corn. It's the the uh, sorting tray table will go right there. The bagging table. And then back along here I'll have a counter with a soda fountain machine for doing soda fountain, you know, soda drinks. Might even put a ice maker in here. I'm not sure yet. Just depends upon the space and the room and how things all flow. Right now, my wife and I work our business with just the two of us. 
And we know the days that the events that we need, there goes a wasp right there, heading outside, and there's one crawling around on the window if you can see it. We know that there's a couple of days of the year that we need help. So we need to make sure we keep enough room in here for two to three people to work. Well, two people for sure all the time, and three, sometimes four would be good. I might redo these service windows in a, a better type of window, but I'm going to leave them right there. Like I say, it would be nice to uh, be able to have this, uh, be able to serve out of both sides. It just may, gives you more options when you go to a new event and park the trailer. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. But we'll see. Anyway, I'll be giving you updates every couple of weeks. I really got to start moving on this, and this is going to be concentrating and taking all my energy. All these got these fires got to come out, and, and uh, this has all got to get gutted. Going to put a new floor in. You can see the floor is in pretty sad shape. This whole trailer is in pretty sad shape, to be honest with you. I can see the roof is sagging. I don't know if you can see that a little bit right there where it's kind of shiny. There's a little bit of a sag right there. But uh, there's a lot of work ahead of me, and like I say, I want to have it done and operational and inspected and ready to go by October for the Arkansas State Fair. So. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Click like if you like. Click don't like if you don't like. But please do subscribe to the channel. I do like having subscribers. Uh, it's kind of the one thing that I look at and get excited about is I've seen the number go up. We're up to, uh, I think, 120 right now. And believe me, guys, when I started doing these videos a year ago, I never imagined I'd have 120 subscribers. So I appreciate y'all. I truly do. And uh, we're, we're going to be taking a break a little bit from the machining videos while I redo this trailer. But... Once this is up and going, we'll be back in the shop, the machine shop and the wood shop, doing all kinds of projects. And who knows, you might see me doing wood projects for this one I'm, as I'm building counters and other stuff that's going to have to go in here. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.